nine years. Are you gonna let him make it ten? I love how accurate this cutscene is. This cutscene is real accurate. The Cubans they stay pro until they're about forty. The only worry you'd have as the guy who's moving and boxing is if the pressure, the pressure power puncher, if you're trying to tire him out and he doesn't get tired, you know, because now you're in trouble. And the amateurs, you got headgear on, you, you know, the gloves are a little bit bigger. Uh, and the pros, you got those little eight ounce gloves, no headgear, it's more rounds, guys are better. Welcome back to Experts React. It's Jalil Major Hackett, professional boxer, 4-0 with three knockouts. And today we'll be checking out Fight Night Champion. Let's go. Um, I've been headbutted and sparring. I've more often than not, you've seen it, you know, done intentionally or unintentionally. I've seen it in fights a lot, but as far as the actual fight, I haven't been headbutted. Anymore. At me as a fighter, at least, um, I'm not speaking for every fighter, but I'm sure I'm speaking for a lot of fighters. Boxing without the boxing gloves is very dangerous. Um, not, you know, for your opponent, or a little bit for your opponent, but really for the fighter, you know. Your hands are, they, they, they're very, very fragile. They got, you got a whole lot of small bones in your hands. So, um, you know, you hit a guy the wrong way, you can break up, you know, bones that won't be able to heal the, the same way, you know, a broken leg or a broken arm may be able to heal. And that's how you know this is a game. He, he was, he knocked him out and he knocked him on his face, but then it cuts and he's on his back. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. His best bet was to get up out of there. You know, this the, like you said, it's the real world. You know, they, they got weapons and everything, man. He should have got up out of there. This Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years, are you gonna let him make it 10? I love how accurate this cutscene is. This cutscene is real accurate. The Cubans, they stay pro until they're about 40. They, they don't never turn pro. Like, they just be amateur forever and they be winning all the tournaments. Maybe like nine, 10 time medalists. So yeah, no, this, this cutscene is very accurate. You got an amateur, you got headgear on. You, you know, the gloves are a little bit bigger. Uh, and the pros, you got those little eight ounce gloves, no headgear, it's more rounds. Guys are better for the most part is a big difference. Yeah, this is real inaccurate right here. I'm just I'm just realizing it. So like in the amateurs, for as long as I can remember, the Cubans always wore Puma and um, his corner has on Adidas. The headgear, the Everlast headgear, that's, I think that's, you know, I guess that's what everybody had to wear. Well, in the international tournaments, you gotta wear the headgear and the gloves that they give you. But as far as like your equipment, as far as your, your boxing jersey and your shorts, that's based on your country, and um, it is a little bit off. If the Cubans don't wear Adidas, they wear Puma. Yeah, it's crazy watching these, like the amateur highlights and stuff. Well, but I'm watching him fighting the amateurs because it's like I was just watching some of my old amateur film, nostalgic. Um, as far as you know, him working the bag, maybe he's working on throwing single punches, but um, I feel like. In boxing, the best way to be successful is to punch in combination. And he, he's not doing that right now. It's crazy how he don't got a headgear on sparring this guy. When you sparring, you almost always wear headgear. Sparring, more often than not, you're working on something. You're not really, you know, trying to knock the guy out or anything. And then it, it's no winner in sparring. <laughs> Knock him out. Like to happen. Even though both fighters wanted it. Even though the public wanted it. Um, honestly, it's, you know, to hype the crowd up a little bit, get the media interest. Also, it's the weigh-in. You know, the weigh-in usually almost always, well, not almost always, always takes place a day before the fight. You know, and the media and everything comes to the weigh-in. They get pictures, you know, 
if it's a, um this like this fight is like a little grudge match maybe got a little long stare down or a little bit of pushing and shoving at the weigh in um yeah no nah, it's just to you know hype the crowd up and get people more interested sport emotions can be your worst enemy see now he's supposed to be the champ right i'm surprised it's not like a million people in the ring with him you know all those people following them with the belts and stuff. That's how I usually go. And Andre Bishop, his brother Raymond. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. I feel like the only worry you'd have as the guy who's moving in boxing is if the pressure, the pressure power puncher, if you're trying to tire him out and he doesn't get tired, you know, because now you're in trouble. How about that, guys? Um, usually they use like um, N12, uh, they'll probably hit it up with a little bit of Vaseline, but with all these different rules and stuff, it's not too much you can do in the corner for real, for real. Heavyweight champion Isaac Frost, he's ready to go here in this round. I think as the guy that's moving, he should slide up a little bit, that sounds crazy, he should slide up a little bit more and try and grab him, you know. Make the ref earn his money. Really targeting that cut above the eye now. He's looking for a TKO here. I feel like Frost is loading up on all the shots. I feel like if Andre, you know, slip and counter, he could be catching them easy. Defensively, because this guy's getting tagged. Yeah. Andre Bishop looking good right here. Andre Bishop. That's the definition of one punch can change a fight. Frost goes down. Frost has never been down. The heavyweight champion. You know, the, the, the game overall was cool. Um, I grew up playing Fight Night, um, so it was real cool. Uh, more often than not, a little, just a little bit, a little, few small things are very, very, very inaccurate. Like, um, the, the, the thing with the whole cut, like, it doesn't matter what you do. Once you're cut in the fight, there's no way they're making it where, like, you're not bleeding at all. But that round, when he knocked him out, it looked like he wasn't bleeding, like, there's no way they're closing up the cut where you don't do it all. But no, it's a great game. Uh, yeah, actually today, today I was um, you know, going through some old flash drives and um, I came upon some old amateur footage from right before I turned pro. Um, so watching him fight in the beginning of the video when he was an amateur, uh, it, it really, it really brought back some some memories. It was real nostalgic. For more experts react, check out Gameology's Facebook and YouTube pages. For more on me, Jalil Major Hackett, you can follow me on Instagram at Jalil underscore Hackett. See you next time.